Welcome to Shivering Timbers Dojo. Tonight we're going to continue our deep dive into Danzenu Jiu-Jitsu's Shimenokata, the constriction arts with the Dakikubi Shime and Osagami Shime. So Dakikubi Shime is essentially where most things I tell you from uh, Shime, you can do any throw. You can do any throw, but Koshigaruma is perfect for this throw. Uh, if you were to do a makikomi, you would have to get your arm back around. Um, if you do a hip throw, hip toss, you got to get your arm up to get around. Um, you could do basically any hip toss with a hand around the neck throw. Koshiguruma is already there. It's, it's perfect for this. You adjust it as you need to, but Koshiguruma is your buddy. For Osakomi Shime, again, you could do any throw you want, but Ukiyotoshi really is absolutely perfect for this because we're going to have you know your okay so timmy out do a nice landing and you can get to the head to attack from there so uh we're going to start with daki kubi shime this is daki kubi shime daki kubi the embracing the neck constriction so we're going to start with koshiguruma again you can do any three you want as long as you mind in front of you but really koshiguruma is where it's at Komate. We get on with it. We hold on. Now at this point, I've still got a nice grip on his arm. He's probably going to fight it if he tries to like push up at me. That's great. I want his arm here because I'm going to put that right there. My head goes down. I get my grip. I lean back just like that. Other side. Dragging around here just so we can see. So as I slide in here, again, this arm is up. Use your leg to fight it. So if he's trying to push up, trying to push up, again, use your leg right to here. Now, if his leg, if his arm is bent, I'm going to use that leg right there, right to there. If he straightens it out, all I'm going to do is straighten that back down. <laughs> As I pull my head down, I want my head down here again because he's going to try with his other hand to fight or do anything, and I just lean back and compress the spine, just like that. All right, let's try one from this direction. Uh, here, switch one. From here, because I'm going to throw you and you're going to land right here. Okay. All right. Nice and smooth, come on. Right to there. Again, he starts fighting it. I can catch him, catch his arm like here, and I've got it. But he might try to get his arm out. That arm can do whatever it wants. <laughs> Alright, so get your arm out here. Oh, he's working it. He's working it. Oh, good. He worked it right to there. That's what I wanted. And then out to here. Okay? Are smaller than you. So if they're smaller, you could conceivably just push down here. I have done this in the past. But if he's bigger than me, he's got enough power. Like, don't let me. And I'm fighting him, and I only have one hand here. So it's better for me. To get this up here and really get that leg around nice and gentle and then compress. Good job. You okay? The whole time he's messing with his hand. Mess with that hand. Do things. <laughs> All those things. It doesn't matter as long as I keep my head down and keep him really smashed in just to there. So now if I lean back, he can keep going a ways. But if I keep it in tight and twist like that, all of a sudden, you put pressure on the spine. This is not something you can do in judo competitions. Most competitions don't allow it because of the spine compression. 
it's kind of scary when you do it. So, Komata, Omata, however you want to do it, you know, if you really want to, you know, but, you know, but catching that, you know, and again, you can come up here and harai, whatever you like, however you like that, but get that arm around the neck, right down into Takikuki. This is Osagami Shime. Again, when we do uh, most of Shime no Kata, uh, just about any throw will do you. <coughs> Could you do this from any throw? Yes. But uh, Ukiyotoshi is really the best bet with this. And we like to start our Ukiyotoshi. Again, most throws, I like, I like this move. I like to come in, I like to do this. But Ukiyotoshi is a little different. If you recall, we're going to step out to the side, just like that. As I drop, he's, I'm going to make sure that my toes are inside. So if he falls on my leg, my knee goes down. Instead of buckling to the side, I'd rather my knee buckle to the ground. It will hurt me far less. As he goes over, he's going to do good sutimi, and we'll carry on from there. From here, grab a handful of hair, lift up, grab the chin, and break. If they don't have hair, what can you grab? <laughs> a plunger, grab the hair, grab the ear, grab the head like this, pull it up, and then shove the chin like that. What's up? Yes, sir. So again, I'm going to come from here into here. Unfortunately, it is not the Mortal Kombat universe. If it were, I'd have lots of gold coins for my uh, victories and probably lots of uh, fatalities for my defeats. Oof. But, let's talk about this move. So, one more time. Ah! From here to grab here, boom! It is a neck wrench. Is it truly a neck break? It depends on how strong you are and how strong your neck is. Does it need to be a neck break? Not especially. Because if I've got a handful of hair here and I push this hard, I don't necessarily have to break it to wrench it out of place and make him very, very sorry that we ever got into this. This is not a move for competition. Uki Otoshi absolutely is. <laughs> I've used that in a judo competition. Unfortunately, the guy I was fighting was built like a cannonball. <laughs> he sort of let me float down and was like, no. Uh, 45 year veteran of judo at that point, he was very good at the other side. So as I come up and I drop this down and pull, I may not be able to break. That's okay. I push here, pull up here. He still doesn't like that. And in any case, I'm up here. If he wants to do anything to me, he has to either roll over and hit me, which doesn't work when I'm controlling his head. He has to hit me with this, which doesn't work when I'm controlling his head. Or he has to get his legs around. And again, I'm controlling his head. And I can drop into something to side control if I have to. So, Osegami Shime is the push and the pull at the same time. If it does not disable or remove the fight from your opponent, you're in a good position. You can get into Shio Gatame, uh, you can get into Yoko Shio Gatame, so you can get into you know, north-south, the four corners from the top, you can get into the side control with your Juji Gatame from there. That said, Osagami Shime is something that one uses in a self-defense situation. Keep that in mind. So that was Danzenu Jujutsu, Shime no Kata's Dakikubi Shime and Osagami Shime. So Dakikubi Shime is not necessarily competition ready because it is a spine constriction. If you find yourself in a competition that lets you do those, I mean, do it. 
Uh, that said, it's a good alternative to your eri gatame or you know your kata gatames, your your kesa gatame if you're a judo, uh, to your collar constrictions like that. It is useful to turn that pin into very much a destructive sort of constriction. Uh, osagame shime. Once again, it's quick, it's fast. Again, it's a neck wrench. You're going to hurt them. Practice this gently. It is for self-defense. Yes, it is not for competition. Absolutely practice your ukiyotoshi competition speed. You know, work that with the uchikomis, work on that. But once you get to that point, be very gentle and just understand that this is for self-defense. If you still don't like them, well, come to class. Try them out with us. We'll see what we can do. Other than that, stay safe. Thanks.